Well, it is a Sunday, and it is time for Willie Hallahan supporting a cause. Of course, Willie joins us on Sunday mornings here on Robin Hood Radio. And uh, we sometimes even do like we did last week. We break off the interview and we, we play it during the week, especially uh, in the month of February right this year, where the Salisbury Winters Association has so much going on in our area. Willie, it's good to speak to you again this morning. Good to hear you too, Marshall. And uh, in advance of our show, just uh, a thank you from all of us at Swasa for all you do for us. Uh, uh, you you host this show on uh, our behalf, and uh, as you said, you uh, you uh, give us coverage during the the week, and uh, it's it's huge for us. Uh, we need all the promotion we can get, and you're a huge part of that. So thanks. You're welcome. Um, Yes, uh, it's all about Jump Fest now, Marshall. I mean, it seemed like for weeks and weeks, uh, Jump Fest seems so far away. Oh, it's off in February, and and here we are. It's five days away till till Friday night. It just astonishes me how how time is flying. Um, uh, and there's a bit to talk about here. Uh, people have been emailing us for weeks now, uh, wondering about ticketing. Can we get tickets online because they were afraid that they might get closed out uh, uh, last year? Of course, we had COVID restrictions. We had to limit our daily attendance to 400 people, which was a huge hit for us because on days when we could get uh, 12, 1500 people, we could only let 400 in at a time. So people were still sensitive to that. To that. They were wondering if they could get tickets online so they would uh, uh, ensure that they could get in. We don't have those restrictions anymore. We are back to normal. Uh, with some parentheses around that word, uh, pretty much completely. Um, uh, in terms of masking and so forth, uh, we recommend it. I guess that's still the, uh, the prescribed uh, advice from our state. It's not required. Uh, we are outside, after all, and it is winter. So uh, if you want to wear your mask, you certainly can. Uh, you can. There's plenty of room to distance yourself from others. Uh, but uh, that's totally up to you. But in terms of attendance, we're only selling tickets at the at the trailer um, because you don't have to get them in advance. You can just show up and get your ticket when you want to and be assured that you can get in. So uh, anybody who's listening, uh, you know, have confidence that uh, you will not be closed out for any reason. Um, uh, this year, we've added a couple of things to Jump Fest. Besides going back to completely normal, uh, that means that uh, you know the Friday night lights will be going on in both uh, events on Saturday and Sunday, as always. Uh, we've uh, brought the human dog sled race back. That's a big deal for people on Friday nights. We had to uh, eliminate it last year for COVID reasons, but it's back. Uh, we're still looking for teams, by the way. I would love to have a dozen teams. That seems to be a the sweet spot uh, in terms of uh, uh, filling the uh, the docket, so to speak, and not going too long. It's uh, we run it after the target jumping is over, and uh, it can run on into the night. But everybody loves it, and it's back. Uh, what we've added this year, we've added a food truck. Um, low and slow out of Torrington. Uh, we used it at the Brewski Fest, uh, not to co not to replace the cook shack. God knows we still have that, but just to complement it, uh, the burgers and dogs and and everything that the cook shack does. Uh, low and slow adds kind of a, a barbecue style menu to that. Uh, plus, it takes the heat off of uh, the cook shack when people start lining up for food. Um, so. Uh, that's going to work well for us. Um, on Friday night, the cook shack, as always, is going to be manned by the folks from um, uh, the um, Sunday in the Country Food Drive, and uh, they cook and sell, and they glean the benefits of uh, that. Friday night. And on Saturday and Sunday, the Lakeville Hose Ladies Auxiliary will be cooking and they will get the benefits from their sales there. So uh, everybody wins. We got a, an expanded menu, uh, uh, cut down on waiting in line and uh, everybody wins. And we love that. Um, another thing that we've added this year, we'd like to do something, <clears throat> uh, improve our facilities over at the jumps a little bit each year, use some of our donation uh, money to uh, just improve the, the area. And um, in the past, there's, there's always, a, this is gonna be, require a little bit of explanation. Uh, ski jumping traditionally has two elements to it. There's just straight ski jumping, which people always see. 
over at Jumpfest. Uh, and there's also an event called the Nordic Combined. And that is a combination of ski jumping and cross country racing. Now over in Swasta's history, there, there've been years when we've run the Nordic Combined, had cross country racing, but it's always required uh, natural snow because it's a, a fairly large loop. Um, we've used uh, Trotta Field, for example, uh, in Salisbury uh, when we've had snow, but natural snow, of course, you can never rely on. In the last few years, we haven't done the Nordic Combined. Well, this year we created, we bulldozed into the woods over at the ski jumps, uh, a small loop um, that's uh, when we arranged it so that we could make snow and cover it with man-made snow uh, for for just this purpose for cross-country skiing. So on Saturday of Jump Fest, the, the, the Nordic combined is back. Uh, we'll be able to to host the cross-country racing uh, element of of uh, the Nordic combined. So that's that's an addition. Um, other than that, everything's the same. Uh, Friday night, uh, the, the uh, ticket trailer opens at uh, six o'clock. Um, the uh, probably oh between six and seven, the kids will be uh, jumping just to uh, practice, and uh, then at seven o'clock, the uh, target jumping begins. Now, uh, first of all, the the, the jumpers uh, will be competing all three days, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. The same high quality talent uh, from around the East, that's from Lake Placid and Hanover and uh, uh, in Vermont, New Hampshire, and New York State. Uh, these are high quality junior jumpers from age 20 on down uh, will be coming to participate. Friday night is their fun night. Uh, it's a fun night for the spectators too, because the kids are trying to they're not jumping for points or no judges. They're not jumping for distance. All they're trying to do is to land on a target that's been painted on the landing hill and they're, they're jumping for prizes and it's fun uh, and everybody loves it. And then after that, Oh, say eight o'clock uh, after eight o'clock, that's when the human dog sled race uh, begins. And that's of course a crowd favorite. There's some people who come just for that. And uh, these are teams of uh, six people. Um, Five people are pulling uh, the sixth person on a sled that they've designed themselves. Uh, the sled can be as simple as a, a plastic children's sled or uh, an inner tube, um, or it can be as elaborate as you want to get. Uh, there have been years when uh, Falls Village Ambulance, for example, built a, a little miniature ambulance as their sled and the volunteer firemen did the same thing with a little fire truck. Um, and, uh, they're, they're not exactly, uh, built for speed, but they're fun. And, and then they vie for a people's choice award. So, uh, uh, and then there's the perennial favorites, the Vikings who come in, in, um, uh, Hagar, the horrible attire with the horned helmets and everything. And they always have a, uh, an interesting, uh, sled. And anyway, it's a lot of fun. Um, uh, and we're still accepting teams, by the way. If any of you listeners out there are interested, um, it's not without a little bit of risk. I mean, you're running on packed snow and you can fall down. Sometimes your uh, your sled will bump into you as you're as you're trying to get up. Um, all the more reason why uh, an inner tube would be a better a better sled to have. Uh, and it requires a little about, uh, amount of fitness for sure. I mean, it's not a long course. We use the outrun of the ski jump. That's the area that after a jumper has landed, they come to a stop. It's, uh, it's uh, oh, oh, three or 400 feet long. And uh, it's an out and back. It's a down and back race where you go, you, know, the, you start off out at the end, run down towards a ski jump around a pylon and back. It's, uh, the whole race is about 50 seconds long. And uh, the, the teams run in pairs, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. There are three divisions. You can have a men's team, a women's team, or a mixed team. And uh, their trophies for the winners. And uh, Dale Jones, uh, our pal Dale Marshall, is uh, who announces a ski jumping all three days. He's the announcer for the human dog sled race, and his professionalism uh, just adds to the whole mix. Uh, everybody's cheering; they're ringing their cowbells. Uh, it's just, it's just great. And that's Friday night. On Saturday, uh, as we always do, we have a junior meet. It starts at nine thirty. Uh, and this is this is held on the 20 and 30 meter hills, our junior hills. These are uh, the kids who uh, have have just been learning 
Um, they've been jumping for a year or so. Uh, we have a very robust uh, team here in Salisbury. We've had for the last couple of years, we have 20 some kids who, who jump regularly uh, and they'll be joined by the junior jumpers from the East, um, the younger version of the, of the athletes who will be jumping the big hill. Uh, they'll be coming from Lake Placid and, and all the other places. And they'll be having their own meet on the 20 and 30 at 930 Saturday morning. Um, and that'll be a hoot. The award ceremonies are held right at the site, uh, uh, almost Olympic style. And, uh, and that'll be fun to see. Uh, then the, the, the big boys and girls will be jumping later. They, they practice from uh, 11 to 12. Uh, if, if, if you want, you can come and, and watch them, them jumping as they prepare for the, the competition later. And then at one o'clock on Saturday, the, the main competition starts. And this is the um, Salisbury Invitational Tournament. This is a big deal. This is our own, Swass's own tournament. There are trophies uh, uh, at stake, and it's a very prestigious um, event around the East. And uh, the, the kids are going to be jumping at their best for that. Um, and, uh, that takes care of, they, they run to about people always ask how long does it run? It, it kind of depends on how many people we have, uh, uh, signed up, uh, it varies, but generally speaking, the, the event lasts from three to three thirty on Saturday, um, Sunday, basically the same thing. Uh, the kids will be practicing at 11 to 12. The competition starts around one and runs Again, roughly 3 to 3.30. Uh, but this is the Eastern U.S. Ski Jumping Championships. Uh, the kids, there's more at stake for them. Uh, on Sunday's competition, the jumpers uh, will be vying for a spot on the junior national team. This is a big deal. This is a big, big deal in the United States. It's the next step, uh, about a step or so away from Olympic uh, competitions. These, uh, these are very good jumpers. The quality of jumping is extremely high. These are the best that we have in the East. And uh, they'll be jumping to try to make the junior national team. Uh, those who make it will be coming back to Salisbury nine days later when we host the junior nationals. But that's, that's for a different discussion. I just don't want to confuse people about the, the two events we having, have going on. Right now we're talking about Jump Fest. Um, uh, and that pretty much completes it, Marshall. The junior national team is named at the end of the competition uh, here in Salisbury. It's, uh, it's a big honor. Um, the kids have been accumulating points throughout the season, and uh, it culminates with Sunday's uh, jumping. Um, so um, I, uh, we look forward. We're getting a lot. We expect a good crowd uh, in general. We, we, one of our gauges is uh, we take the amount of emails we get in advance, people showing interest. And in, like last year, we have a high number of, of people um, asking all kinds of questions about the, the facilities, the tickets, and so forth. Uh, and, and that seems to be a good indicator that there's uh, uh, high interest in, uh, in coming this year. So we're, we're grateful for that. Um, so uh, all I can say is it's only five days away. Um, Jump Fest Friday night um, is, is a, a fun rock and rolling kind of atmosphere. Saturday and Sunday is the best time to bring your family. Uh, your, your, your youngsters um, uh, may be engaged by what they see and want to jump uh, themselves. And I hope they do because we have a very robust uh, junior program going on and we'd welcome any, any youngster who wants to join. Um, speaking of youngsters, uh, if you're bringing a family or your neighborhood kids, uh, kids 12 and under get in free uh, uh, on all three days. And um, adult tickets are a very reasonable $15 per person. And we put that money to good use because we use it to improve our facilities, to uh, help uh, junior programs uh, uh, around the area. And uh, all I can say is uh, we're down to the wire. So let us know if you want to uh, uh, enter a human dog sled team or, or, or just come Friday night, Saturday, or Sunday. We'd love to see you there. And the email address for people to find out information and get information. Well, thank you, Marshall. Uh, to, uh, to, to, for any reason, to sign up your, your team as a, for a human dog sled race or just for any information at all, you can email info at jumpfest.org. 
info at jumpfest.org. And if you are on Facebook and you're interested, uh, you can find Salisbury Winter Sports Association on Facebook. And I was looking at some of the videos you posted last week, Willie, of, uh, of snowing the hill. Yeah, that was, uh, and, and believe it or not, that's our middle hill. That's the 30 meter. It is, as big as that looked, that was just our middle hill. Uh, we'll be snowing the main uh, tower uh, in the middle of the week. That's it's quite it's an event in and of itself. We we do it at night uh, because it's coldest, and um, we use a couple dozen people, and uh, we do a we we snow the whole 300 foot length of the in run uh, in one shot. Takes a couple hours, sometimes longer if things break down. Um, and uh, hopefully, I'll get some uh, video of that too. It's 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 something to behold. Well, once again, if you want more information, you can just go to jumpfest.org as well. Willie, I know it's going to be a busy week. Uh, have a good weekend. Of course, uh, we'll speak to you again next week, and uh, we'll get the, the, the full details uh, of, uh, of a very active next three weeks for the uh, of course, folks at, uh, at Jumpfest. Yes, it will, Marshall. And thank you, as always, for everything you do for us.